tough little cookie to get back off. So line this up right and even and apply pressure. There we go. All right, now let's apply. Now, what you do for this, you just simply put a broom inside here or well, whatever you want and then press and that's it. Then you just pull it out, press it in. Very simple. Hello my friends and welcome back. Today we are going to show you guys a broom and mop holder. Also can hold other stuff, but that's just a recommendation. So let's show you guys what this looks like and then let's set it up. So they provide you with the manual. They provide you with the screws necessary. Also provide you with a double-sided tape if you don't wanna use just screws. Um, I'm sure they recommend if you're going to use heavy stuff on here to use the double sided tape and then the screws as well. Um, let's go ahead and open this up. All right, so this is it. So it looks like you would press something in here and it would hold it then and then it pulls out because this flexes. As you guys can see here, this flexes. So you would put a broom handle in there. It would hold it and then pull it back out. Here's for hooking different things on. Um, let's go ahead and actually put this double-sided tape on to show you guys how this would work. So you'd peel that off. Make sure you try and line this up as close as you possibly can. I like to start with one side and then just slowly go like this. You guys can see, slowly apply pressure. So we didn't get the whole way over. Um, yeah, and now apply pressure throughout the whole thing. And then when you're ready, you peel this top layer off and stick that on the wall. Now, you can put more screws in as well. You could go right through the tape if you need to. Um, it depends on how heavy and what you're putting up. They probably recommend that you do put the screws through as well. But uh, yeah, let's go ahead and install this and show you guys what it looks like. All right, so we're in our work closet and we need to decide the perfect length to put this. So you wanna take your brooms, your rakes, whatever you are using, and you want to be able to decide how high you want it. So right there seems to be pretty good. So we're just pushing in different brooms to see how it mounts up. And I think I'm pretty happy with this position right here. Um, so this is what I'm going to go ahead and do. I'm just going to pull this back out. Now we're going to peel off this top layer of protectant and now we're going to line this up right and even just like this oh we got to actually do that see good thing i looked um we had it upside down make sure the hooks are turned right so the hooks if you don't have it right well then it's going to be a, a tough little cookie to get back off so line this up right and even and apply pressure. There we go. All right, now let's apply pressure in between each bracket. Okay, there we go. Now, let's go ahead and hang everything up. So we're gonna do this one. You just simply push it in. I'll show you guys up close actually in a moment here. Okay, so this is it. Now, what you do for this, you just simply put a broom inside here, or well, whatever you want, and then press, and that's it. Then you just pull it out, press it in. Very simple. Now, um, I'm probably gonna put one, uh, probably two screws in, one on each side. You can put all four if you're putting heavy stuff on here, but if you're not putting heavy stuff, I mean, even as you guys can see, I'm wiggling this and it doesn't even wiggle. I actually probably don't even need to put a screw in with what I got hanging for now. But if you, the heavier stuff that you put on here, 
and the more stuff you put on here you probably want to screw it in then so keep that in mind but overall i love it it works great